Epidemiologist Amadou Sal and his team are in high demand. Back in December, they got a call from scientists in Brazil asking for help with tackling the Zika outbreak. They traveled to the worst affected region, carrying this suitcase. It's a solar-powered virus detection set. Inside the suitcase is a miniature state-of-the-art laboratory. With just a tiny blood sample, Sal and his team can detect whether a person or even a mosquito is infected with the virus. These machines inside the bag allow us to find out the genetic makeup of the virus, no matter where it's located or whether it be found in the blood, urine or any other bodily fluid. Currently, it takes five days to detect the virus after patients develop symptoms. This equipment can tell whether the virus is present in just 15 minutes. Detecting early means we can try to tackle the virus soon and hopefully alleviate suffering for the infected patients. Thousands in South America have been infected with the virus, and it's spreading. Researchers believe Zika could be linked to an increase in cases of the birth defect known as microcephaly. We have not yet found a direct link between Zika and microcephaly, but there's an association, as in we are seeing it in combination with Zika, but we still don't know the nature of their relationship. Scientists believe early detection is key and that this relatively simple equipment can make a difference. The kit was previously used during the Ebola outbreak right here in West Africa. Detecting cases early was crucial in slowing the spread of the virus and eventually bringing an end to the outbreak. Now, given the Zika virus, scientists here want to bring out these suitcases to affected areas as soon as possible. The challenge in tackling the virus is the lack of scientific knowledge, something researchers here have plenty of. Zika has been in West Africa for more than 40 years. The strain of Zika in Africa is different though, and it has not so far been a major health hazard here. Brazilians are now using kits modeled on this one, and the team is packing its bags one more time to head back to South America to help out. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.